I'm Keith Olbermann and this is The Resistance. The video camera is panned and the still camera is clicked and the Russian dictator mumbled something to Trump, something identified in Russia, as a reference to the reporters in front of them as, quote, these are the ones that insulted you? And Trump laughs. And Trump can be heard saying, you could be right about that. And Putin and Trump both laugh. Putin in whose country almost any trace of representative government is dead. And with it, an extraordinarily high number of his opponents are dead. And critics, and especially the reporters who questioned or investigated him, are dead, murdered, and Trump laughs. And back home, Trump tweets a wrestling video of himself symbolically beating a figure labeled CNN. And Trump's son tweets a video of Trump symbolically shooting down a plane labeled CNN. And Trump's son then confesses to meeting a Russian lawyer during the campaign in hopes of getting dirt on Hillary Clinton. And our American reporters determine who created the hateful, dangerous wrestling video, conceal that person's identity, announce they are concealing his identity because he's promised not to do it again, as if doing it once in a lifetime were not bad enough. And then everybody sits around and debates who did and did not report it fairly. Trump laughs at reporters while seated next to a dictator in whose country reporters are regularly murdered. Back home, one television network with news in its name goes almost wall to wall calling CNN fake news. And some of the other television networks, the ones Trump also calls fake news, the ones Trump suckers will never watch and have never watched hire more Trump apologists as contributors and promote Trump apologist contributors to Trump apologist show hosts because they think they might still get some of those Trump viewers to watch them. Trump viewers, the ones whom Trump is telling to attack fake news. The only question is whether he means they should attack physically or merely verbally. With all of its phony unnamed sources and highly slanted and even fraudulent reporting, fake news is distorting democracy in our country. This from a man who reportedly personally approved a statement written on behalf of his own son denying that he had met with the Russians, claiming to represent the Russian government when he had. A statement disproved so quickly that they had to issue another one the next damn day. The American media continues to stick to its rules while Trump laughs at those rules. The American media continues to adhere to some fanciful, noble, but stupid conception of balance. While Trump reportedly tells the FBI director he should consider putting reporters in prison for publishing classified information, the American media continues to broadcast the lies of Trump and the lies of his spokespeople and the lies of Trump Jr. and Kushner and Flynn and Manafort and Page and the lies within lies within lies about none of them ever meeting with Russians rather than boycotting these people outright because the vital distinction has been erased between facts, Trump said it, we have to cover it, and truth, every word out of the mouths of these monsters is intended to put another hole in the First Amendment. The American media continues to give time to those speakers who can document and prove the corruption and the internal threat to our democracy and to then give equal time to those speakers who have repeatedly resorted to the most reprehensible and transparent lies. Meanwhile, Trump calls the American media the enemy of the people, a phrase so vile, so incendiary, that even the Russian communist leader Khrushchev demanded that its use in his post-Stalinist country stop. The American media will not understand, will not acknowledge, will not respond to the simple reality. Donald Trump has declared war on freedom of the press and freedom of speech in this country. Fight back. One network with news in its name advances first the theory that even if Trump did collude with the Russians to alter the election, collusion isn't illegal. And then the same network makes the claim that worrying about Trump's mental capacity is a new low for Democrats. The other networks and nearly every print news outlet will not consistently and seriously address whether Trump is mentally ill, won't even talk about it as much as Fox goddamn news channel has because they're reporters or journalists or laymen or because this is a matter best left for... Best left for whom? When the democracy is on fire, who is supposed to ring the fire alarm? 
when the emperor has no clothes and no loyalty to this country and no sanity, who is supposed to say that again and again, day after day, until it is clear? When the man occupying the White House calls the media the enemy of the people and his spokespersons refuse to let their remarks at their press briefings paid for by our tax dollars be recorded and then go so far as to tell the media it cannot report that they won't let them be recorded, what is the American media supposed to do? Record the news briefings anyway? Let them throw you out if that's what they want to try? Worse yet, beat them to it and all of you walk out? Yes! Dare them to expel you. Dare them to arrest you. Walk out. Boycott. Stop saying their briefings, their rules. Stop televising Trump photo ops. Stop giving airtime to Trump propaganda and Trump propagandists. Stop chasing his viewers and readers who will never consume your product anyway. Stop making sure your coverage is balanced by countering everybody reporting the truth with somebody else who is lying. Stop pretending this is just a strange political time. Stop collaborating with suppression of freedom of the press. War has been declared against the values of this country by the man in charge of this country. You are the first target. Fight back while you still can. Remember this scene. Put it on your computer. Get a tattoo of it. Trump and Putin, in whose country journalists are regularly murdered. These are the ones that insulted you? And Trump laughs. Fight back. President Theodore Roosevelt said it best. To be neutral between right and wrong is to serve wrong. Resist. Remove. Peace.